What's up everyone, my name is Mark Valdez and so glad to have you here. So today we're actually gonna go ahead and teach you how to get that nice dreamy effect on the skin. So as long as you're ready, let's go. Okay, so I have my image pulled up that I will be using for today's example. Now, I've already gone ahead and fully edited this image the way I want it to be, but I'm gonna show you how to get that super smooth skin and how to make those eyes pop as an extra bonus. So make sure to stick around towards the end of this video. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and select this radial gradient over here. And you'll notice that my image already has several. I have three. I got one covering the entire face. I have one covering the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete these. So now my next step is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in just so I have a closer look. I still have my radial gradient selected. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag and I can go ahead and make some adjustments. I can rotate it, make micro adjustments just to make it fit a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back to my right hand side here, drag down. And what I wanna do is click on this little radio button to select that to turn on some color. I like to use red myself because it's easier for me to see. First thing before I wanna start making adjustments is actually zoom in just a little bit more. Once I'm at those eyes, instead of using my radial gradient, I wanna go ahead and switch that over to the eraser. Now I'm gonna go ahead and erase this portion of the eyes, the eyebrows and the lips. And the reason for that is because I want these parts of the image of this portrait to remain tacked sharp and the rest will have that nice soft glow to it. Next step I wanna do is actually go ahead and toggle that radio button off so that way I don't see the red. And the next portion is to adjust the texture slider. I actually wanna go ahead and adjust that to the left hand side to give it that nice buttery smooth dreamy look. Let's go ahead and adjust that. And you'll begin to notice actually the changes right away. So if I were to adjust that all the way to negative 100, immediately but personally myself that's a bit too much i like to do about anywhere from negative 30 to negative 40. i think about negative 33 looks pretty good and i also like to adjust the clarity down just a smidge as well to give it a little bit of a softer look as well all right and that pretty much softens up the skin right there of course you can make other adjustments such as your exposure give a little bit of extra light to it just a smidge and now for the bonus tip let's make those eyes pop okay so now i'm gonna go make another radial gradient and it's actually gonna go ahead and cover the eye right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bump up that exposure, bring some light into it, bring up the shadows. That's maybe a bit much. And I also like to go ahead and add a little bit of warmth to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom out. You'll be able to see the difference right away. Look at that, look at the difference in the two eyes. I think that's pretty good right there. And now I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna go ahead and right click that radio gradient, click duplicate. I can just simply move that one over. And I'm a little extra. I like to go ahead and actually select my eraser tool and erase a little pupil right here. Keep that nice and dark. So here's the before and here's the after. Okay, so that pretty much concludes today's video. If you found this at all helpful, be sure to go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions, make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you soon.